Hey what's up everyone, it's Frankie with Meekspace.org. Today I wanted to take a moment and show you how to install the Watchtower Library for iSilo on your Apple iPad or iPhone. Now notice I said Watchtower Library for iSilo. That's because the regular Watchtower Library CD that you install on your computer will not install on anything other than a regular computer or an Apple computer with the proper configuration. So what we're talking about is a special formatted version of the Watchtower Library. It's been formatted in an app called iSilo, which is basically just an ebook reader. So the prerequisites to doing what I'm going to show you here today is you must have iSilo, the application installed on your device. Now iSilo looks like uh, this if you do a search for it on the App Store, I-S-I-L-O by DC and Company. You have to purchase that and install that on your device. You have to have it. There's nothing else that can replace it in order to use the Watchtower Library on your Apple device. So you've got to get that. Once you've purchased that, you'll also need to get the iSilo formatted Watchtower Library files. Now you can get those from links that I've put in the YouTube video. Uh, if those links are no longer active, you'll have to visit meekspace.org and once you've gained access to our website, you can ask some, one of the friends there how to get these files and they'll help you get them. So that's the other thing. You'll need to download those files and uh, create a folder on your computer and put those files in that folder. So once you've done that, you've installed iSilo, you've gotten the files, you'll plug your iPad or iPhone into uh, your computer and iTunes will open up. On the left hand side over here, you'll click on your device and then you'll see a summary on the right. At the top you want to click on the Apps tab and the Apps tab will uh, let you work with files on your device. So on the right hand side scroll down to where you see File Sharing and notice it says the apps listed below can transfer documents between your iPad and this computer. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to find on the left, we want to find our app, which is iSilo. Click on it. On the right hand side, it's going to display the files uh, that you have installed on iSilo. Now I did this earlier, so I'm going to just delete those files off of my iPad right now, just so I can show you how you know this is kind of a live exercise you should be seeing those files disappear as I delete those from my iPad. Now, of course you didn't see them uh, you didn't see me delete them from my iPad but I was I was sitting there deleting the files and you saw them disappear from this window so that shows you that we're this is kind of a live uh, interaction with the iPad so I'm going to go ahead and pull that folder up with my files that I want to put there. I'm going to highlight my files and I'm going to drag them over to my iSilo application. Now you notice up here it shows that those files are being copied to my iPad. Now once it's done you'll see all of the files here on my iPad. Now I'm going to show you my iPad. You'll notice if I go back to my home page of my iPad and I go into the iSilo application, I'm at the root, the, the root directory of my iPad and you notice you can see those five files and you notice here on the right in iTunes you see those same folders here or same files and the same folder structure. So it's kind of a live interaction with your iPad and iTunes. And so what we want to do is, I generally don't like to leave the files in the root of iSilo. I usually like to make a folder. So what I'll show you how to do that is, notice in the top right corner you've got the three dots. If you click on that, you can go down to the folder that says, or the link that says New Folder, and you can create a new folder. I'm going to call mine Theocratic, because I want to keep mine all organized in a Theocratic folder. Now if you notice, there's the Theocratic folder I just created, and if we look over here at iTunes, see it, it also shows that new folder I created. And so it's, you know, a, a perfect image of what's going on on your iPad. Now what we want to do before we can move files into that Theocratic folder, we got to make it a favorite. So you're going to click on the left 
of the, the file and a little menu will pop up and we want to choose favorite folder alias and we're just going to call it theocratic just like our folder is called and we're going to hit done okay once we've done that now we want to move the files so I'm going to right click on the bottom file down there or I'm, I'm sorry not right click I'm going to click on the little letter to the left and a little menu comes up and I'm going to choose copy and notice there the little window that says destination folder I want to change that to theocratic once you it says theocratic I want to make sure and slide the little bar that says delete original I want to delete it from the original directory whenever I move it so I don't want two copies of the file I want to move it from the root into the theocratic folder and in order to do that you have to choose delete original or it'll leave a copy in the original place once that's done just hit the copy at the top right of that little window and it'll you notice now that one file is missing that's because it moved it into the folder well we're gonna do that with the rest of our files Again, you left click on the little piece of paper there, you choose copy, the destination folder, you choose your theocratic folder, you make sure you, to delete the original by sliding that bar and copy. I'm going to do that with each one of these files. Now you notice the root directories now only show folders they don't show files we've cleaned it up and over here on iTunes see how it's cleaned up we don't see anything there now if I want to go into the I the theocratic folder where I move those files now you see the files now I wanted to just show you what the watchtower library in iSilo format looks like when you open it up now I'll explain real quick what these files are the NWT RBI 8 is the New World Translation, the uh, original New World Translation version, um, and this is the long file name version. Some brothers created links to this file, and so we have to have two versions of this file. The next one is the revised version of the New World Translation. The one under that is the, is the short version of the original New World Translation. So you've got to have all three of those because different brothers create different files that link to all three of those. And so some of the older files link to some, you know, a different one. So you've got to have all three of those. That fourth file there with the DX in it, that is the index. You must have that file if you want to do searching. Keep in mind, this is not an application. It is just an ebook reader. And so you can't search like you can with the full library on your computer. The only way to search something is to look it up in the index file and then go to it that way. So you've got to have that file. Of course, the bottom file is the full Watchtower library up to the year 2013. So if I open that one, that's our main file, you'll get an idea of what the app looks like. Along the top is some links to the different things such as examining the scriptures, um, you got the insight, the, you got the volumes, like if I click on BOL what it's going to do is show me that I can access the Watchtower and the Awake magazines the Watchtower from 2013 back to 1950 the Awake from 2013 back to 1970 and so you can access any of those bound volumes and access any of the articles that were there now if you hit the arrow at the top there it'll just go back to our main directory some of the other things, the, the KM is, of course, the Kingdom Ministry. The BK is books, brochures, booklets. Um, so those are the links to the different uh, publications. Now below that is the Bible. Say we want to look up uh, Genesis 3.15. I would hit the GE. I would hit the number 3. And I'd hit 15. And that will show me uh, that scripture basically it's just you know a way of using the Bible on your device too so I'm gonna go back to the original now below are just the the different directories separated so you know the different types of publications books uh, they're all listed down there brochures 
uh, booklets, tracks, they're all listed here and you can go directly to one of those by one of those links if you want. So really that's the way, that's what the Watchtower Library on iSilo looks like. And that's how you get it on your device using iTunes. Now look for another tutorial that I'll be posting soon that will show you how to get uh, the Watchtower Library on your uh, Apple device uh, using another method, using a, uh, a link with that's built in side of iSilo. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll put that video up soon and you'll be able to watch that. And of course all you Android uh, uh, users out there will have some videos too that will show you how to get the Watchtower Library on your Android. So look for those videos being posted on Meekspace as well. And as always friends, if you want to be a part of our community and visit with the friends, and uh, share your technical knowledge with the friends or uh, get some help from somebody that may be a little more technical than you, visit meekspace.org and uh, create an account and become a member. Uh, you do have to uh, go through a little uh, process to become a member, but once you're a member, uh, there's a lot of uh, good information to be shared there on meekspace.org. And thank you for watching our tutorial.